It's time for the daily update from the Republican Party of Arizona. I'm Austin Smith, chairman of the Arizona Young Republicans. Back when we were in kindergarten or first grade, one of the first things that we learned was how to count heads. We were asked to line up and the teacher had us call out our name and then we counted. We used this to make sure that no one was missing when we got on a bus or we went on a field trip. So it seems that the Biden administration was absent the day they were supposed to learn this. Biden's State Department for the last month since the disastrous departure from Afghanistan has said that there are about 100 Americans who have been left behind. We have gotten reports from numerous private parties rescuing Americans from Afghanistan. Magically, the around 100 number never seems to change. Biden's Secretary of Defense, Lloyd Austin, has a similar problem. When asked how many Afghans who helped the U.S. over the years have been left behind and are marked for revenge by the Taliban, the SecDef had no answer. Homeland Security Secretary Mayorkas has a counting problem too. Thousands of illegal immigrants who were originally from Haiti were camped out under a border bridge. The pictures look so bad they tried to ban drone camera flights in the area when the horrifying images kept coming. The Biden administration said they would deport them to Haiti. Then it turns out they cleared out the camp by releasing them into the United States. How many did Mayorkas say it was? He said 10,000, uh, 12,000. Which one is it? How can he not know? Here's a real number. 20% of illegal immigrants coming across the border when tested turned up positive for COVID-19, but no vaccine mandate for them. Meanwhile, a Democrat-run New York State, healthcare workers were given a mandate to get the vaccine or lose their job. This is despite them all working throughout the last year without the vaccine and being considered heroes while doing so. Now we have hundreds that have just been fired as the healthcare system is already experiencing staffing shortages due to burnout and fatigue. There could be thousands more who lose their jobs or quit due to oppressive policies. The result is that hospitals in New York, which were already putting off elective surgeries, are now delaying necessary surgeries. Healthcare professionals cannot be replaced by people off the street. It takes two, three, or even four years to become a nurse. This is going to have an immediate, long-term impact on everyone's health. Anyone who has common sense and can count heads could have seen this coming. Now we're supposed to trust the Democrats on Capitol Hill that argue about whether $4 trillion or $5 trillion is enough to blow on misguided new spending programs? These Democrats even had the audacity to claim this all will have zero cost. America needs people back in charge who know how to count people and count money. We know it, the American people know it, and that's why so many of us are ready to wake up from this disaster Democrat nightmare and send Republicans to Congress, our state legislatures, our governorships, and other crucial offices in 2022 to get America back on track. But as always, remember, here at the Republican Party of Arizona, it is always America first. See you next time.